here. This looks like the remote control. It's got a little poster that you can hang on your wall. that that is nice so we're going to start with hooking up our wires that are color coded and labeled this is your live wire it's the black one this is your neutral wire so it's got an N on it that's your white wire and this is your ground now I'm putting these little extension wires on because it'll be easier to hook up once we get it up inside where we have to where we have to be and I'm going to bring it over to where the black is. So we're going to go black to black, white to white, and ground to ground. Now I'm going to be using a blue wire for my ground. Our little protector will go up there like that. I'm going to do that with the other two wires. Just like that. Now next, I'm going to utilize these two holes that I already have from the other fan that I had removed. Before I tighten them up, this is just to hold this in place so I can mark my mount. Then I can run two anchors and two screws and that's going to be perfect for what we need to do. Now I'm going to make two holes where my marks are. Here's one mark. I'm just going to take a screwdriver and push it right up through there. I'm going to push my anchor up in there and I'm just going to tap it in. Your application may be different. You may not have these two holes here. They give you plenty. They give you four anchors and four screws which would be plenty to hold this light up. Now we're going to start putting our screws up in here. This cable that's hanging down is to clip onto there and that'll hold that for you while you can get your your wires hooked up and like I said our blue is our ground it's going to go to ground and we're going to do that just by putting a couple wire nuts on and we'll do that with the other two and then we're going to put this up into place now we have three screws to put in there's three holes here one goes there one goes there and one goes there they are supplied with the unit. Now put the other two in. One over here, one over here. All done. Time to check it out. First, let's turn the light on. It has a handy dandy remote control. There is three different light settings. It's got white light, yellow light, and natural light. There's the white light, there's the yellow light, and there's the natural. There's dim, all the way up to bright. This is very user-friendly remote control. It also has a one hour and two hour timer on this remote. So we're gonna start with the fan. We're gonna to go to low. Very quiet, no vibrations. We're gonna to go to medium. Now we're gonna to go to high. And there is a stop button on your remote control. That'll stop it. This is perfect for a child's room or an elderly person's room, which that is what this, incidentally, this fan is in. It's in my mother-in-law's room. It was easy to set up. You don't have to pair the remote control. It's all ready to go. It's plug and play. This is reversible with the remote control. On the remote control, there's a red button up on top. While that is running, you hit the red button. You'll hear that beep it will slow down automatically stop automatically and then reverse itself in the other direction and there it goes beautiful piece